for your puppy toothbrush, buddy? I know. I know. I know. Anyone? Fuck you. Hey, buddy. You too hot today? Is that why you're hanging on the bathroom? Going through the subject matter expert interviews we did yesterday, the day before, and um, trying to like filter to figure out what the what the big bucket topics that we'll want to talk about more are. Um, and it's challenging because we we want to cover the breadth of topics that are included under retention and engagement, but it's we're finding it difficult to solicit or to ask the right questions in order to get the right responses. Uh, so right now, what I'm struggling with is um, going through the documents, going through the interviews, and putting things into the appropriate buckets so that we can show them, all right, this is what we already talked about, and um, here are the things that we want to cover next, right? Like how to ask the question, here are the things we want to cover next, like what is the right way? Should we ask hypotheticals? Should we ask them to draw back on uh, their past experiences? Or is it something else uh, different entirely? So right now I'm just kind of like pouring through the transcripts and trying to like organize all the information, but um, it's, it's a little tricky. Just got done with jujitsu class. I think that I'm getting worse in some ways, like I'm missing certain fundamental steps and uh, and like my guard passing is not as good. Uh, I'm pulling guard more often, and maybe that's why, because I'm just not good for my back. Um, but I think this is just a um, a slump of some sort, and maybe like a dip. And uh, you know, I've kind of I've been here before with other things, so I know that eventually I'll get through this the plateau. But uh, it's kind of a bummer. But I think I'll just keep keep rolling and just sticking with it, and eventually be able to turn it around. Deeper. What are you doing with that sock, buddy? Give that to your dad. Give that to your dad. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing, huh? What do you think you're doing? Why do you have your dad sock? Why are you chewing your dad sock, huh? Why are you chewing your dad sock? My gut feeling on how today went is uh, overall just felt like a, a bit of a letdown on what I was able to get done. Um, I felt distracted for most of the day and uh, spent too much time like just bullshitting on, on YouTube and just felt really unfocused. Like I didn't know what I was working for. Um, when I rolled, uh, the roll didn't go well. Just a lot of like different things, but um, if I if I sit down and look at what I got done objectively, like I still managed to squeeze in two modules in the Reforge program, right? So I was able to study two lessons. Um, I got the next batch of questions to the subject matter experts that I needed to get done for uh, my actual like Reforge work. Um, looked through the content, read through all of it, um, went to Jiu Jitsu, even though there's a moment where I felt like ah, maybe I won't even go today. Um, when I took Defra on his walks, was focused on him and not listening to the podcast or whatever. So I felt like we had a good, we had a good walk there. Um, and I guess, I guess not every day is going to feel like an amazing day or like you feel like you got everything done. But you have to keep chipping away, um, chipping away at things, and and it's just about hitting singles, right? Like you don't need to hit a home run every single time. But if you hit a bunch of singles and just constantly get on base, then in the long run, it's all going to pay off. And that's what I'm trying to remind myself um, on these days where I don't know where it just doesn't feel like I always know what the drive is at points. You know, I think. In the grand scheme, I, I do know, but just, you know, certain days are, are tougher than others. Uh, so, overall, feel feel a little bit better after kind of like talking through it, but um, yeah, hit singles, get you done one day at a time. But having solid habits are so crucial, right? I didn't have to think about getting up early in order to put in the time and, and study a module. I didn't have to think about whether I was going to go to jiu-jitsu, right? Even though I had a little bit of doubt, it was scheduled on my calendar at 5.30, I feed Deef at 6, I get ready to go, and I make it to class whether I feel like it or not. Whether the motivation, like the motivation is taken out of the equation, so that gets done. Having the habit of going to Starbucks when I know I'm struggling with staying focused, knowing that I have my spot where I know I can get work done, and I know I have this playlist that I listen to, all those little details to make sure, to take the motivation and decision away from myself in those moments of weakness, um, like that's that's a cornerstone. And it, when you have those things, it just, it makes the work go on autopilot, and um, you're still able to chip away at things even when you feel like you had a shitty day.